I believe I'm one of those born to be an artist. Um, I have um, both grandparents on both aisles. My grandmothers on both sides, my father's side and my mother's side were creative people. Women at that time, being creative and being uh, entrepreneurial and uh, showing initiative in that way were considered abnormal. In those times, it was a culture of the people to have women playing the role of housekeeper and children or nurturers. Women were docile. They were not supposed to be showing initiative, being creative, not to talk of being entrepreneurial. And, you know, doing that kind of work was considered men's work. For me as an individual, I get sick sometimes. You know, for me, the art comes from a place of thought. So what happens in my environment, this is my response. So I wanted pictures of female mask or masquerade. I, I couldn't find them. Do you know why? Because they, they're not there. The culture that had it had destroyed it for some reason that I don't know. And then the female masquerades that existed were performed by men. And after reading and studying all of that, I began to understand why women's uh, representation in governance and decision making was up almost zero. And so because of that space, I decided um, I'm going to create the female masquerade so that at least women coming after me will have something to look for to. They will have a sense of belonging in this tradition that they are so constitutive of. However, I advocate that people take out their frustration with some creative venture. And it helps to heal you. It helps you to deal with complex issues. So for people who have to, who encounter certain kinds of trauma that they cannot express in words, and you are unable to cry or you're tired of crying, perhaps it is not in crying that you can express them. Perhaps it is in an ad, an, an, a creative venture. You can express it. Sometimes, as a creative, you might not even... It might be the creativity itself that is making you sick. <laughs> that has happened to me. I had to stop both drawing, painting, took about 10 months off. I went to work in a bar and restaurant. It helped me forget about all the heavy things that produce this art, about the politics, the inequalities, the subjugation of women, feminisms, all the things that uh, constitute the content that drives my art. I was able to take my mind off it and focus on food, waitresses, the bar, the cost of beer. <laughs> Um, artist workshops, artist retreats, they are very key for the creative mind. You need um, that kind of synergy from other creatives. I get it even from attending art fairs, art expo, where you get to encounter other, not just other artists like you, but other creatives like you, because sometimes you find out that there's a question nagging behind your mind and you're talking to a writer or a poet and they just say something and it just clicks, it just helps you understand that challenge you were dealing with. What motivates me and what I say to young people who are looking to careers in the visual arts is to know yourself and your history. When you understand where you're coming from, then you can confront the world.